I'm going to keep the introduction brief. Follow-up video to the professional awesome fender vent installation on the Miata. So all these things always seem to go well and the product is supposed to work but it's hard to tell unless you test it yourself. So that's what we're going to do today. The products are supposed to work. They're supposed to be designed uh, all vents to do their purpose. So what we did in the previous video is test the pressure on the top of the fender as well as below the fender to see where is going to be the best place to vent it. And what we found was that the farther forward the vent was placed, the more negative pressure the vent was going to see on the top and at the underside the positive pressure was about equal. So we put it as far forward as we can. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the arts and crafts store. We picked up some white yarn. We went with the nice uh, fluffy stuff so it would fly up. We also got some green yarn for reasons which I will demonstrate right now. Bam! This is what aero testing looks like if you don't have a wind tunnel. The white ones go on the top. They get spread out evenly so you can see as you're driving down the road. The green ones get taped on the underside or the backside of your vents. And what this does is this will show you is the air that's inside, is it actually coming out? And then the white stuff simply shows you what the air is doing as it flows over the car itself. So three main areas that we want to take a look at. We want to take a look to see how these vents are actually working. They are the singular hood vents uh, designed for the NB Miata specifically. And step two, the front fender. We want to see how this professional awesome vent is working as well as seeing what kind of turbulence is going on behind the front wheel. Interesting stuff. And then finally, on the second one, the rear, sorry, the third area, we want to see how air flowing into the back of this tire, since it does poke out a bit, what that air is doing. We think we know, but we want to find out. And finally, of course, on the rear, of the car just behind the wheel. So we're about to go out on the road, test it. I'm gonna have a friend hanging out the passenger side. And uh, we'll see what we see. All right, so we're back from the road test where we had Becky drive my daily and Ethan drive, sorry, not drive, just sit in the passenger seat and hang his very expensive, nice camera out the window so we could see what was actually happening with the yarn. Some interesting stuff that um, not really sure. So some good things, um, all the yarn here going straight back and you'll see on the video looking very nice. You'll also see at the very back of the hood that these actually wrap underneath the hood, which is kind of a known high pressure, slow air area of the car. So no real um, surprises there. The real surprise was in this area right here. And we taped this off just to see what it would do and if it would help but you can see how these are twisted up still right now. Is there's a vorti uh, vortic, sorry, vortex, <laughs> try that again, vortex that's formed right here that gets a little bit larger as it goes back. 
because the air is actually hitting it this way. But because it's hitting this gurney at an angle and the vents go off angle to the direction of the air, it's creating this vortex. And then all of a sudden, right here, as well as here, these actually flop forward. So something's happening that basically there's a vortex created that then creates a bit of drag right in this area that's not constant. Sometimes you'll see this one flap forward and then backwards and vice versa, just kind of flopping all over the place. The telltales on this side start sliding off the uh, side of the door, which is common and expected. Uh, the good news is these vents do work. The um, the green strings were flying up, nothing seemed to be coming back down, um, but the vortex and the resulting drag is not ideal. So we're trying to come up with some ideas. Um, probably nothing this season we can do, but we're going to be taking a look at that. Uh, great news is the Professional Awesome Universal vents which I put on the fenders work really really well um, The first two sets of strings here very smooth very straight I was a little worried because of the angle of it. I wasn't sure how that was going to affect The flow out of here, but these first two were very straight uh, the ones in the back um, Danced a little bit that you'll see um, But still really good extraction really great uh, Great performance, so those are good. I don't think we need to do anything there. Behind the wheel, we saw these continue to wrap around, and the ones at the bottom uh, started to kind of come forward a little bit, which because the, um, I'll show you on this side, because the quarter panel sits so far in to the wheels along with the rotational pressure that tends to build up here um, it just kind of creates a dead spot which is drag which is just general stuff you don't want to see so what we are going to test next is I just did a two minute bracket to pull the fender out at the bottom to make it flush with the wheel face. Not quite sure what that's gonna do yet. I'm gonna put a few more telltales kind of through here to show us what the flow is doing um, coming out of here and how the transitions between the panels, things like that. So something really kind of quick and easy that you can do at home it's like uh, six bucks in yarn and you know three bucks in painter's tape and you can have your very own aero testing so we're going to test out the front fender again and uh, see what happens 